have such a nice community to live in, and you know, we kind of want to preserve this and have this for future generations and future us. So um, we have a candidate that is coming up who is running for the mayor of Chauncey Village, and he pledges to protect the sanctity of this area. So can we give a large round of applause for the next mayor of Chauncey Village? for you. Our platform is simple. No more talentless idiots in our government. The idiots we will put in place will have talent. As has already been exemplified by the numerous candidates that have graced this stage before me, we are such idiots with talent. We are also running on a platform to address the issues of the village. As mayor of Chauncey Village, I will give it and the surrounding areas the attention that it deserves. Councilman Eddie Van Bogart cleaned up the alley between Follett's and the underground printing, known as Gumball Alley to us townies. We shouldn't stop with a cleaning and a planned mural, especially if the one that's going to be installed looks anything like the one that's over at the West Lafayette Public Library now on the outside theater, that will not do. We will need to go one step further and install a public restroom facility in that alley. How many people have needed to pee or vomit while shuffling along in an alcoholic binge stupor at 2 a.m. on a Friday night of a home game? Show of hands. A few of you. How many were like this last night? A few of you. We will install a public restroom equipped with urinals, a stall, and several multi-height puke buckets, all of which will be emptied and cleaned once a week by a rotating cast of fraternity and sorority pledges. This will have a minimum impact on the taxpayer. We must succeed in this if we are to continue our great tradition that so many generations of alumni before us have enjoyed in that wonderful alley. This is, in essence, my fellow Americans and Hoosiers, our Boilermaker heritage. Some of my opponents may lecture about the importance of a grassroots campaign. We're not looking to be politicking in a field full of rosy piles of flowery hippie shit. <laughs> Pardon my vulgarity. I apologize to the children in the room. That's what Bloomington, the Memorial Mall protesters, and SOAP, the Society for an Open and Accountable Purdue, are for. It should be known that Mitch Daniels is a supporter of our campaign. Mitch, Mitch Dan. This is a boiler up. Ground floor campaign. We're building a building, not assembling AstroTurf. Modern times, serious business. I have not yet purchased my Craner degree in full, but I know people who have. 
invest in my political career now, and I will be indebted to you proportionally to your investment. <laughs> Ask me about my rates after the Lafayette Funstable. <laughs> Relevant to the citizens in this room, improv shows on Friday nights must start no earlier than 8.30. This will allow the Purdue Improv Club to end early and bring their audience over to enjoy the 8.30 show. No longer should we divide the very small improvisational community in this area already by double booking shows. I promise to invest an arbitrarily high amount of taxes collected in a variety of ways that the minority of the majority of my initial investors would have approved of if I had given them the opportunity to do so. <laughs> I promise to improve the graduation rate of Purdue by lowering the standards by which students like yourselves must graduate. If you can't meet the bar set by those in the ivory towers or in Indianapolis or Washington, D.C., you deserve to have the bar lowered to your standards. I promise to pour water in the canyon of divisiveness, let it freeze overnight in the harsh winters of Indiana, cracking and breaking what little semblance of structured, polite discourse we have left. We cannot be fooled by the kumbaya chorus from the memorial maulers into believing that bipartisanship is a virtue worth aspiring towards. Our founding fathers didn't belong to any parties. Sure, they were fathers, they were males, they were white. They didn't need them. And to be part of the government was to be part of the party. To be part of the government, you needed to own property, be male, and most of all, be white. We can only should be willing to compromise on one of those restrictions. Being a participant in our government is not a right in this democracy. With that, I promise to bring back our constitutional heritage. It's not a document. We, it's a document we need to live by. It's a document that makes us who we are. I promise to secure our borders in the great Chauncey village. No more will one have to deal with the transient derelicts who ask for money. Got a quarter. <laughs> the Ivy Tech student, and I know one was here tonight, I apologize, who wishes to transfer over to our public university. Or the strange 40-somethings that are hanging around Jake's because they're in town on a business trip trying to score. <laughs> I promise to make health care expensive for those who don't deserve it and cheaper for those who do. The Vote All Angry Party is, worth, is working with computer science graduate students here at Purdue University on uh, the perfect algorithm to determine a citizen's worthiness index. Eugenics is a Hoosier tradition started in 1907, and we should aspire to bring back that into the limelight. USA! 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 Our final solution will be posted on our website, voteallangry.com. I promise to fund weapons research, although per my non-disclosure agreement. Thank you for your investment, Department of Homeland Security. I promise to move us forward by continuing the gentrification of Chauncey Village. Gone should be the days of mystery exotic cuisine, taking chance on the consistency of non-franchise establishments. And surprise, to put it bluntly, I apologize again, of the shitholes in a wall that don't deserve to say that their zip codes are 47906. <laughs> we live in a land of, hom of homogeny among our nation's great enterprises. Dairy Queen, Taco Bell, Five Guys, Hot Box Pizza, Orange Leaf, Underground Printing, Subway, Pop Bellies, Qdoba, Einstein Bagels, Panda Express, Noodles and Company, Red Mango. If you don't know what something is when you walk up to it, what right does it have to be here? <laughs> Thank you. I'll open up the floor to questions. Oh, All right. Um, yes, you, sir. What, what, what are your plans for that empty lot where the hookah lounge used to be? The empty lot where the hookah lounge is, um, as soon as we can, we're bringing in developers. It's already passed the Tippecanoe County Area Planning Commission. We'll demolish the building. Get where else out of there? No more sticky floor bars. We want clean bars. And then it'll be built probably by 2015. Yes? I am from far away, not Okay, yes, a non American. <laughs> I 
didn't understand your question. <laughs> I will say thank you for, for trying. Next. Yes, you, sir. If I dream that I believe something, will you support my right to believe in that dream? Most definitely. Thank you. Any final questions? Yes, you, sir. What will you do about the parking problem on Chauncey? The parking problem on Chauncey. Well, I'll probably put pressure on the West Lafayette Public Library to open up that parking garage so they're not so arrogant. Everyone doesn't like to read. People just want a place to park. And so by working on that kind of partnership, I think we'd be able to open up that garage to you. Any, any? Yes, last one. Do you really think the stingy librarians are going to work with you? Oh, snap. Oh, Once they see who my contributors are, I think they'll have no other choice. <laughs> well, that is my time for this evening. I appreciate your, your attention.